guys, Lassie here. I am back here with another Q box, or this is a bag, so it should be Q bag. Q box is one of my absolute favorite subscription service, which contains a lot of kawaii items, but they also send very useful items, so I really love the subscription service. They used to actually send them in like just plain colored bags, but I guess they're now sending them in this really cute baggie that says thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If you guys are interested in Q-Box yourself, I'll definitely provide the information in the description box below. But for now, we're going to get started with this baggie! Carefully cut it open. I believe this one has two of my bags inside. Yep, I see one. <laughs> one and two. Because I get stuff from them a lot. So I guess now they just know to send me these packages together. Which is nice because I just have to pick it up once from the post office. So I guess we'll just open this one first because I kind of already cut into it. Let's open this one. Oh! Oh my gosh! Do you guys see? Look at It's the Kudetama one. I think it is the Kudetama one. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. There are several little things in here. Just look at all these cute little items! Honestly though, I am not too sure which theme this was. Might be one of the monthly ones. So let me share all of the items I got from this Q bag. I feel like people are going to yell at me again for saying these wrong, but I'm not much of a sweets person. So even if you teach me how to say it, I probably will forget very, very soon. It's either macaron or macaroon. I forgot, but look, it's the rainbow colored pastel macaroon macaron erasers. These are so cute. I actually have a little container where I collect all these cute erasers. Obviously, because they're too cute to use, I can't, I just can't use them, but they're so adorable. And I love how these make great props for American Girl dolls. So here are the cute little erasers I got. Then here, it looks like I got a bento box. I think it's a bento box, or maybe it's a soap box. It is a bento box. Oh, look, it's Ponde Lion. I actually remember this character. I think it's the character with like little um, French cruller like donut around him. And this one is a bento box, I believe. Yep, so that's one level, and here's like the extra level. Oh my gosh, this is pretty cool. And I love how this size is like perfect for one person. So if I ever go on like a little trip and I'm bringing my bento box, I'll definitely use this one. It also comes with the strap, which I will show you. See, this is the Ponde Lion character. Let me take it out and give you guys a closer look. This is the Ponde Lion character. So cute. So with this strap, what you do is after you put your bento in your bento box, you just strap this around so that it secures the bento box in place and they usually don't send snacks but it looks like they actually included a snack in this bag this one is fruit flavor snack of mods fruits fruit scent fruit stations i can't read and i think maybe they're veggie flavored i don't know let's open it and take a bite it's a jelly oh wow that is super chewy Way more chewier than I had expected. Mmm. Okay, so to be completely honest with the taste, the initial taste wasn't that great. I think it's probably because of the texture of it because I expected it to be a little more like bouncy texture. Once I bit into it, it bit right through. So I think that kind of caught me off guard. So I think that's why I thought the initial taste wasn't that great. But as you chew into it, it definitely does taste fruity and I actually quite like it. Yay! I'm definitely going to eat this while I edit my videos. Then it looks like I got a paper wallet or something. Come on. Where is the opening? Okay. Oh, there are little envelopes. Oh, how cute. There are little foldable envelopes. I thought they were like, you know, like those like smart smart wallets. I thought it was one of those, but no, these are little envelopes. How cute. These are definitely going to come in really useful. Okay, so this item, this big item I got is a little pouch. 
pouch and it looks like a makeup pouch and as you can see the front is made with shiny vinyl and it looks like a donut and I just unzipped it and inside is quite big and both sides are actually pretty nicely padded too. This is pretty cute! I probably use it for something else other than the makeup bag though because I just don't carry a lot of makeup around me. But anyway, this is really cute. I really like the design of it. Oh, I was like, what is this? I just realized um, all of my macaroons actually probably fell out of this box. No! Okay, let's put it back in here. There you go, now it looks cute. And I also got this hand warmer, which I'm not too sure how to use it, but I'm just not going to open it just yet because I feel like this is something that my mom will get a better use out of. So I'm just going to give it to her. But it looks like you get a little pouch-like thing and you have to insert the heat source and you can just carry it around, which is really cool. It actually started getting pretty cold in New Hampshire recently, so this is going to definitely come in very handy for me or my mom. Then I got these little blocks and they're usually called nano blocks. This one is obviously not the nano block brand, but here I got cinnamon roll. Oh, he's so cute. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to build these because the blocks are so tiny, but I shall try so that I can make this really adorable cinnamon roll. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's a little... Oh, oh my gosh! It's a little piggy! Oh my gosh, it's so soft! Oh my gosh! Oh, it almost feels like a food, like jelly food! Oh my gosh, this is so soft! What are you? What am I supposed to do with you? Oh, it says 모니 모니 동물 친구들 방향제 So this is a, like a scent, not scent diffuser, but like a little room scent perfume kind of thing oh oh my gosh it does smell really good which is really odd because people usually think of pigs as a dirty animal but this one smells really good and I love pigs if you've been watching my channel long enough you guys know that I'm obsessed with pigs and squishy things okay I need to stop squishing it before I ruin this little cute piggy oh my gosh this is so cute just look at this piggy oh my gosh I love it oh and we got a little deck of something I'm not too sure what this is maybe some stickers Hi. Okay. Oh, there are little sticker flakes. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I feel like my sister will want some of these because she likes stickers and I like stickers and she likes decorating her journals and so do I. So, oh man, this is so cute. I love these stuff. Yay, stickers! Then here we got a little compact mirror. This one is shaped like chocolate. And I was actually looking online to buy one of these because I recently saw a picture of people doing the decoden on these things and it just looked really cute. So I thought of maybe purchasing one of these to decoden, but it came with Qbox, so it works out for me. So now I just need to get some materials to practice decoden on this. That would be really cool. So as you can see, it looks like a block of chocolate. When you open it, you get... Ah! You can, you can see my face! Don't look! <laughs> There's a mirror on that end, and then there is a comb. So this is pretty cool. Then here we got a keychain which looks absolutely lovely. And this one... Oh my gosh. Just look at all the charms on this one. Oh my gosh, I love it. So on the top, there's a key ring part and there's also this alligator clasp. No, this is not called alligator clasp. But anyway, one of these hooks, like little clamp hooks. And all the charms are just really pretty. There is the ice cream charm with some jewels on top, a little gem, another little gem, a donut ribbon an eiffel tower and a little macaron so cute this is such a great key ring oh my gosh i love it oh and lastly from this bag i got a little jewelry piece it's a little necklace and the charm has a little teacup a table and a squirrel oh and also a little muffin it's a really cute charm Yep, I'm definitely going to wear this during the spring. So those are all of the items I got from my first bag. So now let's open this second bag. It looks super full. There's definitely a plushie in here, so I don't want to cut it too rough. <gasps> is it Totoro? Totoro, Totoro. Ah, it is Totoro! <gasps> oh my goodness! It's a Totoro neck pillow! Oh my gosh, okay, let's get the rest of things out. This bag is so full, I'm having a bit of trouble taking them out. 
Oh my goodness, these are awesome! Yay! Okay, so the first thing you probably already noticed is this Totoro neck pillow. By the time you guys are watching this, I should be back from my trip, but as of now, as I'm filming this, I'm actually planning on going on a trip, so this neck pillow will definitely come in really handy. Oh, very cute. Back is plain gray. So cute. And then we got a little pouch here, which looks like a little pencil pouch. Let's take it out and give you guys a closer look at this pouch. So here is how the pouch looks. There is a little zipper on the top. You unzip it. Oh, it comes with little padding. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Seriously, Q box. You always blow me away with all these items. And I'm not too sure what this is, so let's open it and see what it is. Maybe a coin purse or something? Not too sure. On the front, there is Totoro. The back is just plain. Unzip it to see what's inside or how you use it. Oh, maybe oh, maybe it's like a cord holder or something like that. Like when you're carrying your earbuds or something like that, I think. I'm sure I'll find a use for this. So cute and I love how this one has a little heart. And this one right here is something that I have never received from Qbox before, which is a fridge magnet, but this is a really cute fridge magnet. No, it's not going on my fridge, but it's going to go on my shelf. So cute here. He's sitting on top of something. Maybe he's just chilling in a field. On the back is a big, big magnet. Here's a closer look on Totoro. Here is a little earbud, and usually they come with just the earbud cord wrapper. But this one actually came with earbuds, which is actually pretty cool. I'm actually not going to open it because I already have a pair that I'm currently using. So once I'm done using those, then I'll open these. But you can see that there are earbuds and then Totoro cord wrapper. This is super thoughtful. And I love how this comes in a little Ziploc baggie too. You can tear it open, but then after you tear it open, you can unzip it or zip it. This is pretty cool. And here we got a little pin or brooch. And it's a unicorn! Here is the clip I got. It's a little hair clip I just realized. And this unicorn is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. Oh. And this one, I have no clue what it is. So let's open it up. Oh, little packs inside. What, 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 what? Um, not too sure. I can't read Chinese. Are these like heating bags? Like little heat warmers like hand warmers i think these are little hand warmers i'm pretty sure because i remember when i lived in korea they had little packs like these and they somehow had similar drawings as these if you guys know what these are or if you guys can read chinese please let me know what these are i also got this little thingy which i'm not too sure what it is i don't know it does not look like a cord wrapper maybe it's a bookmarker i, I can't take it out Whoops. Anyway, so basically both ends look the same. Each end has a Totoro charm. I have no clue what this is. What are you? Oh, maybe it's a cord wrapper because I just realized when I bent it, it stays that way. Oh, that is pretty cool. Oh man, that's... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Do you guys see how it's holding the shape? Oh my gosh. Mind blown. And it looks like I got a notebook. On the front, it says, My neighbor Totoro. And the inside is just great, plain lined paper. Very nice to have a notebook like this because they come in very handy when you're writing down ideas. Oh, and it's a board. It's a little writing board. Okay, so it says, My neighbor Totoro on the top. And it's very nice, light green color. And you can see the little clip on the bottom. And there's the illustration. Super cool. And I don't know if you guys can see clearly. I'm just not taking this one out just yet because I actually have a clipboard that I'm using right now. But on the side, you can see there's like a little ruler on the side. That is really nice. And finally, here is the last item, which is a big pouch. And okay. It's quite big. It's like big enough to actually fit my pencil board. See? Yeah, this can definitely go in the pouch if I wanted to. Here is the pouch I got, which has Totoro picture on the front. And the back is just plain blue. Here are the items I got from my two recent Q bags. From the Totoro bag, I think my favorite item is probably the large 
pouch but I also really like the little writing board it came with and from my January bag my favorite is probably the little keychain I think it's absolutely adorable which one's your favorite please let me know in the comment section below as always thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye guys